What we're going to look at now is problems that may occur when trying to shell imported components or components that have small edges, faces, etc. We'll take this example here and what we're going to do is actually add a shell on this bottom face but these particular features here are actually going to cause us some problems. So let's actually add the shell and we'll add a value of 8mm in and we'll just accept that and we're given an error telling us the shell operation has failed. So we need to look at a workaround for this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a copy of the component onto itself. And we can do this by going to our insert, features and move copy. And all we're saying is let's copy this body onto itself. Click OK. Accept it. Yes, we do want to proceed, although we've not put a value in. And you can see that we've now in our solid bodies folder got two bodies. We're going to hide the original one because we're going to look at working with our second one in order to create the shell. So the next thing we'd like to do is actually delete though these particular features. So if we go to our insert face and delete, um, we're just going to zoom in and I can click on here and we just want to click on all these faces. Now we don't always get the selection we want so I'm just going to select these individually. Okay and we'll accept that one. And we've actually removed that aperture. Do the same again. Insert, face and delete. So we're just going to click on all these. We'll do them individually so you can see me selecting them. There's them three faces. We're going to carry on and remove the rest of these as well. And again we'll select that one and we'll have that. And carry on with this one. making sure that we select all the faces okay and we'll delete and patch okay so we've remo removed those particular features now the next thing we want to do is we actually want to uh, create a shell in here now so we're actually going to add the shell So if we uh, go to our shell command, 8 millimeters, I'm going to add this shell, which will work fine because obviously we haven't got these other features that were causing the problem. Now, using our shell, we're now going to actually open up a sketch on this bottom face. And we'll just add the shell. And we, if we hold down the control key, and we're going to convert those entities First of all, if we open the sketch itself, sorry, and we'll uh, convert those entities and you can see that we've got the internal edge and we're now going to extrude this up to next. So we're going in the right direction yeah, and we'll go up to next. But we want to make sure we disable the merge result. So if we click that and accept it, what we've now got is a third solid body. We have our original one, which is hidden. We have our one that we copied, that we then shelled. And then we've got our third boss extrude, which is basically an extrusion of the shell itself. Now, we can actually right click on our second one. We don't need to have this anymore. So we're going to delete this body that we actually had, leaving behind the residue, which is in fact the shell itself. If we then bring back our original body, so we can show this and we're now going to have uh, use our combine feature so it's insert features and combine and we're going to subtract from the main original body the shell that we've just recently created and we're just going to click on OK and now you can see that we have our original body with our shell included.